Hello boys and girls. Today we are working on creating a small clay portrait of Louis Armstrong playing his trumpet. So you are going to get some clay. You're going to have a circle. It's like a coaster that you painted. I'm just going to put this piece of paper on here so you can see because I didn't get a chance to paint mine yet. And you're going to get some clay. Now, this clay is self-drying clay. So we're not going to have to worry about it, about letting it dry and go in an oven. It's just going to dry and we're going to paint it. So boys and girls, well, Louis Armstrong, like any other person, is going to have a head. But we can't make it too big because we would like to add his trumpet to this picture. So I have a little piece of clay here. I'm going to break off a piece, roll a ball, and lay it on my circle and push it down. And here is his head. Okay. Of course he has two eyes, so I'm just going to take another piece of clay that's kind of small and break it in two and roll two eyes. And I'm going to put them here. Of course, not only does he have the white of his eyes, he has the pupil, which would be tinier circles. And I think I want to have him looking down because he's going to be looking down at his trumpet. He almost looks like a Muppet here. I'm going to break off another little piece. Oh, there's so many things to think about. And add his eyebrows. So I'm going to roll tiny little shapes that look like tiny little worms. And one's going to go here above an eye. And just press and it's just going to stick there so nicely and one's going to go here press good now like I had said before we are going to paint it later boy that is a bright light I think it's almost too bright for you to see there we go maybe that helps of course we want to give him his nose and I'm just going to press another circular shape here and Maybe I'll make it a little longer. There we go. So we have a nose. I'm going to poke two holes for the nostrils. There we go. And I'm going to put two little holes for his eyes, just so you can see where they are. And I'd like to give him some hair and some ears. Don't take too much clay for ears. You don't want him to look like an elephant. <laughs> with big ears, but here's one ear, press it down, and here's another ear, press it down, right on this side. Okay, I haven't given him his mouth yet, but I think I'll start by rolling a little clay into it, one of those little wormy shapes and setting it here one and i'd like to give him another part of his mouth so there's two lips upper and lower and that's how he pierces it together and blows to make the sound on the trumpet and i almost want to make little lines on his face because he's playing the trumpet and he's blowing and it's making little lines in his face. Okay. Of course, I want to give him some hair. He did not have long hair, so I don't need a lot of clay. I'm going to roll it out again like a tiny little worm, a little bit bigger. And I'm going to place it on his head and push it down. There we go. We can also take our pencil and just make little marks in our hair. Texture. Oh, I'm recording. Mary, Aveline, please. All right, here's his head and his face. 
and now we're going to work on <clears throat> giving him a little neck, making just a little rectangular shape, and pressing it here. All right. So many complicated parts to this. And I want to make his shirt or his coat. So I need a little bit more clay, taking a piece, and I'm forming uh, kind of like the shape of sort of a square, but I'm making it a little higher on one side. It doesn't have to be any particularly geometric shape. Oh, that kind of looks like a shirt. I'm just going to lay that down on the clay or on the paper and press. There we go. Now we don't have his whole body in there, but that's okay. We can only fit so much in here. <laughs> and boys and girls, now I'd love to give him a tie. You could have a long tie or a bow tie. I think he wore a bow tie a lot back in the day. Here's a circle for the middle. And I don't know, a little triangular shape for this side. That's too big. Let's make it tinier. There. <coughs> and one for the other side. We better give him his arms and a, and a trumpet. All right, boys and girls. That's kind of the first step. I do want to put some buttons down his shirt. And maybe a couple indentations for his coat. Now we're going to work on the arms and the trumpet. All right, to make arms, you really just need to roll kind of like a tiny little worm shape or a hot dog, a tiny hot dog. And I think I'm just going to attach it here. You can't have it go off the body too far because, boys and girls, it'll break. We can't have it sticking out. It'll break. It's got to kind of lay down. This is what they call low relief sculpture, that it's kind of flattened down. Here's an arm, just bending it, pressing it to the side of his body. And this is going to be his hand, so I'm just going to mark this part. Here's his arm and hand. And we're going to have him holding a trumpet. I'll try to fit his other arm in here too. But first, I want to build a trumpet. So the trumpet is a horned instrument, and we're going to need another long, worm-like shape. But you want this one to be nice and smooth. But the thing is, it gets wider on one end. So I'm going to fold this over and make it look wider by pressing it. Folding and pressing. Hey, that's starting to look a little bit like the end of a horn. You can use your fingers to smooth out the clay. All right. And it could go right to his face or bend it down. He's playing like blowing air in it. I'm going to break this piece off so it fits in his mouth. And there's a little tiny piece that he blows the air into. And here we go. And his hand, I better give him some fingers. And there he goes. <laughs> One. Maybe he's pressing his fingers down and you can't see everything. I know that there's another bottom piece. Oh, got to add the other half of this horn. It kind of loops underneath it like this. So I'm going to roll, 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 tiny, tiny, tiny. This clay is so nice. And uh oh, I forgot the bottom half of this horn. Lifting it up, setting it under. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There we go. It's 
hard to see. Well, we get the idea. It's really hit or miss, and it's a guesswork at some point. There we go. I know it's hard to see because his, his everything is white, the shirt, the shoulders, everything. But we can add paint later when it dries. Here's his little fingers. And we can't quite see his thumb because maybe he's playing all those little buttons on there. And then I think I want to show the end of the horn. Like a hole so you can see sort of into it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, nice. I really feel like I should have his other arm or part of his arm on the other side. And there we go. Louis Armstrong and his trumpet. And this arm might be too big. Oh boy. I don't think you'd see that much of it, so I had to rip it in half. Clay, this clay is really forgiving and pretty easy to use. Just manipulate it with your fingers, move it around. And there we go. One arm is, let's say, underneath it. And we won't have to make the fingers or anything because it's behind the horn. Now, I think it'd be fun to make a musical note. And there's all sorts of musical notes that um, Miss Koo has taught you. But I'm just going to make a simple musical note here with a circle and I'm pressing. Not a circle, actually a ball. And then I'm going to press down. And then I need something that kind of looks like a line up. A line up. I could make a few musical notes. Oh, press down. And of course, we'll add paint later. One musical note there. And I'll put one here. All right, boys and girls, enjoy yourself. Of course, you can have it looking the other way, or maybe you have trouble with the trumpet and you just want a, um, a clay piece of Louis Armstrong. That's fine. Just enjoy yourself, boys and girls. Thank you. Mm -hmm.